Now, there is certainly a correlation between carbon dioxide and temperature, as you can see. However, when you look closely, you see that the temperature rise comes first, and then comes a rise in carbon dioxide. Can you see the difference? Now, logic tells you that the cause must come first and the effect later. The cause must always precede the effect. So, obviously, the temperature rise is the cause, and the rise in carbon dioxide is the effect. Where does the carbon dioxide come from? From the ocean. When you warm the ocean, it releases the dissolved carbon dioxide. It's like champagne and the carbon dioxide goes into the atmosphere. And then when the ocean cools, it reabsorbs the carbon dioxide, goes back into the ocean. Let me show you the temperature record of the last 10 years. How many of you are aware of the fact that there has been cooling in the last 10 years, not warming? Good. Be sure to make use of this fact. It is a fact, but most people don't know this. They think it's warming. It isn't. It's cooling right now. It's been cooling since 1998. You see, this is the last warming, and now it is cooling, and actually cooling slightly and heading down. Now, what's this green curve here? That's carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is rising, but the temperature is going down. There clearly is a disconnect and no obvious relation between carbon dioxide and temperature. So please remember that. This is one of the most important graphs we have, one of the most important facts that tells us that the correlation between carbon dioxide and temperature is coincidental and is not a cause and effect relation. Let me show you another example. This comes from satellites. Every climate model, every climate model predicts that the polar regions should warm more than the equator. Well, while this is true for the North Polar region, you see it is warmer, has warmed in the last 30 years. This is a 30-year record. The Antarctic has been cooling steadily, and it's still cooling. It's not warming, as it should, or as the models predict. Finally, let me show you the temperature record from satellites. I'll go back two steps. Here it is. Weather satellites with which I've been associated in the past, are the only method we have to get reliable data of global temperature. Only satellites go around the Earth all the time, taking temperatures, measuring temperatures, with a single instrument that requires little or no correction. Here's what you see. The measurement started in 1979. Essentially, you get fluctuations, but no trend. You can see it with your eyes. If you analyze it, you find there's a slight trend, but it's essentially zero. Then in 1998, you get a huge warming lasting one year. This is an El Nino event. It has no relation to human activity. El Ninos are natural fluctuations of the Earth's climate. You probably have heard about them. They, they cause warming in the Pacific Ocean and lots of rain around the rest of the world. Flooding in, I remember flooding in California. I was in California at that time and everything was flooded because of the El Nino in the Pacific. And then, you see, after the year 2000, 
No temperature rise. In fact, it's slight decrease. In other words, we see no evidence in the actual climate record of any influence of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide. It must be there, but it's too small to be seen. It is so small that it is unimportant, insignificant, negligible, and not worth considering. It certainly is not worth spending money on. It's not worth setting up a mitigation program. It's not worth having this huge conference in Copenhagen and convening delegations from 102 na 192 nations to do something about carbon dioxide. Because as you can see, it has practically no effect on temperature, on climate. This is what the actual record shows. Now the IPCC does not take notice of these things. They ignore them. They know about them, but they ignore them because they want to prove that humans are causing climate change because that's what they're set up for. That's their purpose. Let me uh, go back forward again. This is my favorite slide. In 1990, in the United States, we had a vice president in the White House by the name of Al Gore, you've all heard of him, a passionate believer in global warming and a passionate believer in the human cause of global warming. Al Gore is no scientist, believe me. He barely passed his college exams. I think he got a D, which is close to failure in science. What Al Gore wanted to show the American people is that global warming is bad for them. So he divided, they divided the United States into 18 regions. This is not, you don't have to read all of this. Here, but here's California and 18 regions. And here's New England and uh, Florida and so on. And all, all sorts of regions of the United States. And for every region, they had a calamity. For example, for Florida, they had hurricanes. For the East Coast, they had sea level rise and storms. For the Midwest, they had droughts and so on. For California, they had heat waves. Well, how do you predict the climate? The only way you can do that is with a model. But then Al Gore made a serious strategic error. Do you know what it was? What was his error? Instead of using one model, he used two. And the models contradict each other, which essentially shows that they're worthless. Here's what the two models show. In many cases, the models disagree. For example, the Rio Grande region in one model becomes a swamp, in this model it becomes a desert, <laughs> and so on. You see again here, this is North Dakota, a swamp and a desert, swamp, desert, swamp, desert, swamp, desert, swamp, desert. And you see, in many cases, about half the cases, the models completely disagree. And the rest of them, like here for example, it shows the lower Colorado uh, becoming heavily, a lot of precipitation and very little. So the two models completely disagree, which means they're probably both wrong, which means all climate models are wrong and they cannot be used for prediction. And this whole Copenhagen exercise is based on predictions from climate models. So there you are. They're no good. They're worthless.